operation crippling the shagwa to the ground and that is the operation that is currently happening under the Kenya Kwanza government and regime. This is Celeb Kona KE from whatever part of the world that you're watching us from. Please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, let's get down to the story that is currently taking over the hairways in the country. It is believed that now the UDA party is planning or has taken the move of expelling Regali Gashagu from the said UD United Democratic Party. As Hassan Omar, the UDA party secretary general, has claimed that the party does not recognize the impeached deputy president Gavi Gashagu, who was also the party's deputy leader. Omar said the party will soon hold a meeting to expel him have not already held and that the meeting has not been made to expel the man. Omar and the UDA party treasurer Jafet Nyakunde stated that they stand for the country's unity. Gashagwa must now accept the crowd has shifted and move on, Omar said. He said as part of the UDA constitution, the deputy president also stands in as the deputy party leader and since Gashagwa has now been impeached, he must give way to other leaders. He said once the removal of Gashagua is completed, the party will move to replace him with Deputy President nominee Professor Kedora Kendeke. And I quote him, We already recognize Kedora Kendeke as our Deputy President and also Deputy Party Leader, but we will officially install him soon, Omar said. Now the two officials spoke in a Dorit after meeting with youth leaders from the region which called to to review issues affecting the youth generation, uh, the young generation. Omar said they were getting feedback from the youth on how to improve the implementation of policies that will help youth benefit from opportunities offered by the Kenya Kwanza government. Omar said President William Ruto should be supported by all Kenyans so that he implements the plans and vision he has for the country. Now let's look at it in this manner. You know, once Gashagwa loses the validity, of the UDA party that makes him uh, disposable at any moment even in a court of law if they have already expelled him that means the guy does not have any mandate you must be either from from a registered party to hold the office of the deputy president a political party you also must either if you are not in a political party you must be registered as a as an independent candidate to continue holding the office of the deputy president. Now, if they expel him, which uh, that means he, all, he, he loses the constitutional gr grounds to continue holding the office of the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. And with that, the constitution now gives even them up an upper hand to kick him out as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. The, the judiciary will have the upper hand to remove Rigadi Geshagwa as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Now when you look at these from all corners, you will realize it is a botched move. Moves are being made left, right, left, right and center to make sure that the house of Rigadi Geshagwa is supported by different aspects of the constitution. Now, removing him from a party makes him vulnerable, makes him disposable, because he won't be a protected by the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Ni jamaa mbae ana chama. So, kama una chama, wewe kama naipua rais, unapaswa aswa, uwe umejiregister by the register of political parties as an independent candidate. Tunaelewana, if you are not an independent candidate, nor are you from any political party, then we we see naiborize. Mahana constitution I allow evil. Kulingana na constitution, na bipengele bia constitution ya inche Kenya, katiba jamuri ya Kenya, jinsi ambavo, raisi ama naibu wake wanapaso kukua, chosen ama kukua elected or nominated to the office of the deputy or the, or, or the president. Tunaelewana mpaka hapo. Now, Kutazama yale ambayo wa Kenya wanayasema kulingana na 
uh, this move and this announcement by Om Nini, Omar, Omar Hassan. Ona Dustin Data akisema Omar wait to be appointed because you cannot win any elections in Mombasa. Lucky Fine anasema the best lootal advisor. <laughs> Jimali anasema UDA and you will pack and go home more unceremoniously than Gashieda come 2027. Mtajua mjui. Daudi wa Joy anasema mama Omar. Jessica Sitati anasema so in my own view forcefully impeachment brings unity. God help our nation Kenya did we really understand the youth's message that time. Musa Hamed anasema hii ndiyo ingekuwa mwanzo kabla ya impeachment. Arabella Chelsea anasema Omar talks as if he can be elected in Mombasa until you go back to, Ra to Raila. Utaonea uongozi Mombasa vile sasa. Now ukitazama tu kwa jumla utaweza asoa ku come into agreement with the terms that Regathi Gashagua he has limited moves. The constitution, you know, the, the, these people are making you even to violate the constitution. Unaona, unalazimishwa mpaka kuivuja na kwenda kinyume na katiba ya jamhuri ya Kenya. Si kwa matakwa yako, si kwa sababu unapenda. It's because they want you to. Tunaelewana. They want you to violate the constitution, to breach the constitution so that you will not be validated as a deputy president. Tunaelewana. So kulazimishwa kuondoka katika chama cha UDA ambapo yeye ni deputy party leader it's a very significant move and a move that also will put his uh, legitimacy to continue contending the case to remain as the deputy president uh, at crossroads hmm? ukitazama pia utagundua ile Uh, mawakili wanai brigadi gashago wameandika barua directed to the judiciary before. they have claimed that they believe the judiciary will not serve them a fair justice kwa sababu the bench of the three judges that has been conveyed to listen to their case tomorrow on 22nd of October 2024 is the same bench that listened to the petition that gashagwa about the eight petition that gashagwa had filed to prevent his case proceeding to the Senate. But the said bench of judges ruled out the petitions and proceeded to hand over the matter to the Senate to decide. Now the Senate has decided it that it's unfair that, that, that Gashagwa should be impeached. He was impeached by the Senate. But his counsel again writes a petition to the Milimani local justice charter who then receives the petition and sees that it has weight and it is really clear that Gashagwa did not receive fair hearing. So he forwards the case back to the High Court and addresses the Chief Justice to take up the matter and convene an uneven be bench of three judges, High Court judges. The Chief Justice rules on the case and decides to to give it to the bench that had determined it earlier. Instead of convening a new bench, he gives the case to the bench that was there earlier. Which means, the game is rigged. The game is rigged. There is no survival tactic for Gashamu. Man, people saw as if the judiciary will offer him justice. But it seems the judiciary is out here to finish him also. Kwa nao ni ayo tu na kukumbusha hii ni celeb kona ke hii tafadhali make sure una subscribe tungane katika video zetu zijazo. Mimi, ni celeb kona ke hii.